all the cover bridges that we saw so far uh, on our trip have been drivable. This is the first one that I'm seeing that is not a drivable no, bridge. Little... All right, so now if there, you had to pick one thing that we should do here for a couple days, what's that one thing that we should do out of the campground? All the way from the campground? Yeah. Well, I don't know what you're into. Um, Hiking, biking, canoeing, anything, food. Anything. Yeah, I mean, you local, name it. Local, you know. You know Something you gotta see by right here. Must do, must see. There's enough hiking here. Okay. To last you the rest of your life. Okay. Not a newbie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you Where's your ID, uh, young people? I have my school ID. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good time. Yeah. So we've got cheddars here, and we're a cheddar house. So I love cheddar. All of our cheddars are over in the cooler over there. Okay. As well as these two here on the counter. Okay. This one, this one, these are sheep's milk, sheep and cow. Right behind you. Really? Really, guys? Really, guys? Wait, 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 wait. True reaction of the Rob family maple syrup. This is the darker one. What are we thinking here? All right, really good. Right in the front, and it is a tiny opportunity for you and to hear. That is what's going on in your neighborhood. Gift shop. Your community events. We got two more. This playground. Sorry, dude. We're in front of the little baby playground. Oh, we're right here. Pull it right on in. Honey, we're behind. This is it right here. I'm still here the best. Next door was what again? Walker Farms. And what is Walker Farms exactly? Fresh farm, fresh farm produce. Okay. Locally grown. Okay. And they have uh, home baked goods. Okay. Awesome. It's worth a stop. All right. So now, if there, you had to pick one thing that we should do here, or every couple of days, what's that one thing that we should do out of the campground? Away from the campground? Yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know what you're into. Um, Hiking, biking, canoeing, anything, food. I mean, yeah, I mean you local, name it. Local, you know. You know something you gotta must see by right here. Must do, must see. There's enough hiking here okay. to last you the rest of your life. Okay. Um, and the best way to do that is you go onto your phone, go on yep. the internet and Google all trails. Yep, we got it. Yep. We got it. Just bring that up and okay. that's the easiest way to do it. Farmer's Market. It's like a farmer's market here too, correct? Yep, in Brattleboro. Okay. Saturdays. Okay. Uh, actually, I think it's in West Brattleboro. Okay. We're close by Brattleboro. I know we are, right? Yeah, you're about, but the farmer's market is at the far end. Gotcha. But gotcha. you would just basically go all the way through town. Okay. And okay. Then you'll find it at the. It'll be at the. Okay. The okay. Further end of town. Love it. There's a big winery in uh, Putney. If you're interested in that. Okay. Okay. If you want to visit the, one of the Vermont covered bridges, the wooden yes. bridges. Yes. 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 It's real easy. You go out here to the main road. Yep. Literally across the street. Yep. East West Road. Yep. Take East West Road to the stop sign. Yep. Take a left. Yep. And it'll take you right to the bridge. Oh, perfect. You'll okay. come to another stop sign, but it's a long, kind of windy road. It's about yeah. four or five miles. Oh, perfect. But that's what Vermont's famous, one of the things Vermont's famous for. Excellent, excellent. And before you leave here, you have to buy some Vermont maple syrup. Oh, yes. yeah. We find one of those, maybe get a farm and get walk around and get like a... Everybody yeah. around here, all these local places, it's all local Vermont. Okay. Uh, I used to make it myself. Okay. And it's... Okay. You'll never go back to okay. Mrs. Butterworth. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> It'll spoil your rotten. I appreciate it. Uh, places to eat. Back to the rotary. Yep. Take out here. Take a left. Yep. Go to the rotary. Yep. Um, just before the rotary on the on the right hand side is 99. Yep. yep. It's a good kind of family restaurant. Yep. Okay. If you go into the rotary, third exit, take a quick right into the parking lot. That's Ramundo's. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Italian, very good. Okay. Very good pizza, Italian food. Okay. If you want some of the fancier places, you have to go all the way into town. Um, into what town? Brattlesboro or? Yeah, uh, okay. Into Brattlesboro. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Um, but if you take the second exit off the rotary, um, you know, there's a big grocery store, Hannaford's, and, and on the left, Hannaford. there's a lot okay. of, there's all the fast food, there's Dunkin' Donuts and Wendy's. Okay. McDonald's and okay. on and on and on. I appreciate it. 
So, Walton, you're official tour guide, man. Man, I'm telling you, there's a lot to do around here. Oh, uh, we gonna hang but out. If you're into hiking and biking, you yeah. could. I've lived here a long time, and I haven't hit all the trails yet. Either. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. I see you were tapping the Coast Guard, so thank you for your service. Pleasure. I appreciate it. Wish I could do it again, but body won't let me do it. I, I get it. I get it. <laughs> Father time always wins. So it does. Yes. It, always, it always catches up to you. Absolutely. If you guys need anything, definitely. Flag me down or call the office and we'll see what we can do for you. Excellent. Thanks, you might have friend. to bring back her radio because she was like, you know, you got the radio and everything, so. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stop shooting there. Walk out here real fast. All right. So we are now at, we're in Vermont. We're in Vermont. And inside Vermont, you know, it's by a small campground. It's a KOA. I booked this a long time ago. But yeah, we're in our KOA. And the small campground, beautiful, nice humanitarian, friendly, friendly, nice people. We're set up, ready to rock and roll. We're gonna head downtown Brattleboro real soon. Uh, how's the basketball court? Uh, we're the last one, but the basket's like stuck at like six feet tall. Um, I'll go over there with you and see if I can get it up. See if we can get it all up. Bring the keep the ball. All right, I get the ask the keys for the truck, and I'm gonna close those windows up. I guess they can stay down. It's all good. All right. Probably go All right, we're gonna head over to the basketball court with my homie. See what we got going here. Oh, I gotta put my camping sign on. We gotta put our camping sign on. I didn't do that one piece, but we gotta do. I do what we gotta do. That's the pool over there, huh? Yep. Okay. Cool. okay. I'll right, we'll do a little campground review as well. We're only here for a couple of days. We'll give you anything and everything that we can to do all that kind of stuff. So we're ready to rock and roll. I love when I see passports on the road. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So no, but we'll do a walkthrough later on of our rig. If we haven't done it already, I apologize. Repeat myself, but we do have a new rig. So yeah. See if we can get this goal unstuck from six feet. If not, we're gonna have a slam dunk fest this whole week. <laughs> That's all it's gonna be. That's actually a pretty nice sized pool. Wow. Yeah. The other uh, campground was definitely bigger than uh, than what uh, than, t than this campground. But this is a this is a pool and a half right here for, for a small campground. Holy moly, Oli. Not bad at all. Three feet deep. All the way through, five feet on the end. All right. I'll take it. The basketball court we go. Nice campground, though, I have to admit. Quaint little campground, small. No major highways near us. You know, KOA is notorious for that. That's for sure. There we go. All right, finally made it downtown Brattleboro. We'll get some footage of downtown here. Every we go, we like to try to find what's happening locally. You know, you never know. Maybe we'll inspire somebody to check on one of these cool towns. That's for sure. So this definitely is quintessential New England. Small town feel, beautiful architecture, the whole nine yards. Uh, nine to four. Uh, they're closed in half an hour. You want to go in there now? Yeah, let's go in there now. Let's go check it out. How you doing? Very well. We found this really cool record store, and that's what we do. Vintage records are something that we collect. Wow. <laughs> Good, baby. Very cool. How are you, sir? Very well, thank you. Cool looking shop, that's for sure. Definitely. How long have you been in business for down here? You mind if I record? Cool. Uh, the shop been here for about 12 years. Okay. 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 All right. Very cool. Excellent. Let's go ahead and put this video in fast forward and so you can see all the beautiful records that they have in the store. I tell you, we could have spent all day here 
This place was awesome. Where today? It's right it's by the retreat farm. Okay, the retreat farm. Yeah, not too far from here. All right, so like I said, food trucks and like music and all that stuff. Oh yeah, there'll be more cars parked along the road than you ever saw. Really? What, what kind of music? Any uh, different kinds of bands? Or? Uh, I'm not sure who's playing tonight. They have a different one every Thursday. Okay, okay. It's real. Yeah. It's a great lot of fun. Okay, we'll have to check it out. Okay. Okay. The retreat farm. Mm -hmm. So getting there, to, if we Google that, we could probably find that, right? Easily. Okay. It's All right. about a mile from here. Okay. I awesome. could walk there if I wanted. Okay. Okay. The retreat farm. Well, we could do that. All right. So we head out that way. We would head to get the retreat farm and get back on Main Street. Uh huh. Follow all the way up, go we'll curve to the right. Yep. Keep on going. The retreat will be on the left, the big hospital. You'll oh, I saw the big house. Okay, okay. And right past that on the left is the retreat farm. It's next, next okay. to the Grafton Cheese Factory. Which the Grafton Cheese Factory. Very cool place to visit. Okay. Honey, the Grafton Cheese Factory, right near the retreat farm. That's on our list. Okay. All right. Excellent. Okay, don't forget six. Oh, we're about to knock this out. Grafton Cheese Company. Really, Olivia? Really, Queso? And we have the Castillo here, too. Yes, they do, honey. This is, for everything. This is like for the major thing. Yes, it is. Thank you very much, baby. Six o'clock, they close. In an hour. In an hour. All right, let's do it again and put this video in fast forward. I do want to show you all the great options that they do have here at the Grafton Cheese Company. This was one of the places on our list that I wanted to stop and do. And thankful enough, speaking with the guy at the music shop, there was a festival here as well. So it was a double bonus. Thank you for letting me record as well. Appreciate oh my gosh, it. I didn't realize you were doing that. Oh, I'm I thought sorry. you were taking selfies oh, of your. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> we're solely recording. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. We're going to tag in our YouTube channel this whole place. And so, uh, oh my gosh. Better bring some traffic this way, though, hopefully. You like cheddar, man. Uh, you, you like cheddar. Yeah, you like cheddar. Oh, that's good. Give me a little. Give me a little. Give me a little. There you go. Come on. Come on. Come That's good. Isn't okay. that nice? Mm-hmm. That's a good finish. So that's our um, signature cheddar that we have right there. Okay. That's in the case over there with the blue label on it. Right okay. Now. What's the other most and popular then, ones you guys sell of over of all? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So let me show you. Uh, this one here, our cloth bound cheddar is our most traditional cheddar that we make. Okay. So this is really nice. It's got a little bit of a nutty flavor to me, a little buttery, a little nutty. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, that one better. This one? Mm -hmm. I do too. I love all the cheese, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I like all too. Oh, what would you recommend that we try? I got it right here, Liv. I got it right here, babe. I think. I think. I lost it. Oh. Hello. 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 How late is it open tonight? Eight, eight. eight. Thank you. I do check here for a bar. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Hi. Yes, yeah. All right, I got an idea here somewhere. Here we go. Yeah, you do. There you go. Oh, 
Okay, where is it? Okay, there it is. Thank you. All right. I've been toying with it for a little, little, little while now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're not a newbie. Not a newbie. Yeah, yeah. 79. Where's your ID, uh, young people? I have my school ID. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good time. This music festival, it really rocked. No pun intended. At the same time, a quick camping tip. You should always talk to the camp host, get an idea of what's going on locally in town, and you can find great festivals just like the one that we found here. We had a great time trying all the food and listening to all the great music. All right. So we are at Rob's Family Farm. This is listed as one of those things to do when you come to Vermont, especially in a Brattleboro area. Hopefully we'll be able to get our tour on. I'm totally pumped to be here. Totally pumped to be here. Awesome. She's not coming. Go ahead, let's go. Go ahead, go inside. Right? Inside, guys. I don't think the bag. Open the door behind you. Open the door. I'm also Dave, you might have to have the sister with the door because. 10 to 5. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? Awesome, thank you. This is so cool. Do you guys still offer tours as well or no? I do. You do. Excuse me, David. All right. How do we sign up for that? What do we do? You just tell me. I'll do the tour. Okay. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Oh, man. We are totally excited. <laughs> so if you leave and take us on our tour, who's taking the shop here? <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back. <laughs> okay. Awesome. You boo. I will, I will show you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Hearing, no showing. Hearing, no showing. I'm on it. <laughs> so, in like mid February, we have to go around and we have to drill about a thousand new holes into every Ooh. tree. These are the old holes. They scab over almost instantly as soon as you take the, you know, the chaff out. Wow. Yeah. So, you have to drill about 6,000 holes. Um, How many then, per tree? Uh, so some of the bigger ones have like two or three. Like, see that big tree over there has three. Okay. Um, so yeah. Wow. Okay. Very cool. Oh, you know this. And I can see the big web of everything. So now obviously there's a central location that all this stuff goes to. Okay. Right there. There's a 3,000 gallon tank. How much do you collect per day? It all depends. Okay. It depends on the weather. Gotcha. So that okay. Yeah, but we could. I mean, we could fill that tank up a couple of times a day yeah. if it's really bad. Wow. You guys got it going all like, like, it's all over the place, all over, it's like webs everywhere. Holy moly. How many trees, roughly? Wow. Wow. Yeah. I see some of the bigger tubes that you have down the blue tubes, that like a, that like a main line out of the yeah. yeah. Reaction of the Rob family maple syrup. This is the darker one. What are we thinking here? All right, really good. Actually, the dark brown. Yeah. Which one do you like better? Dark. Oh, really? Go for it. I don't know, man. Oh, I don't know. 
The lighter one seemed like the, it was like really like had a lot of body to it, real full. No, they're both delicious. <laughs> wow. Okay. No. I don't know if finding covered bridges is a thing. Well, maybe it's our thing. We definitely enjoy checking these out while we're on the road. And I suggest, if you haven't seen one, to try and find one. Very cool. All the cover bridges that we saw so far uh, on our trip have been drivable. This is the first one that I'm seeing that is not a drivable no, bridge. So, not drivable. The one in Littleton was drivable. In my opinion, there's always something very special and nostalgic about seeing a covered bridge. 1879. And after a long few days of hiking, biking, checking out the town, Back at the campground, we always find ourselves just chatting it up and most importantly, just making memories. As always, travel in mercies, peace and blessings, and we hope to see you on the road. And don't forget to like and subscribe.